Hello and welcome back to Street Fighter 6 World Tour. We just finished, uh, well we just met Kami. We just finished the Siren Building. And uh, as you can see, my character is basically almost dead and we're still wearing this really weird looking lab coat. So I'm gonna change out of that and put my uh, uh, jacket back on. Do I have better pants? No, not really. Do I have better shoes? Also not really. Okay, so, um, so it is still nighttime. And I want to go back in and try to find Cammy. So let's go back to that building. Actually, uh, so I fast traveled to the wrong place. So actually, I'm going to go over to. How about a dance? What's that place called? Chinatown, and see if Jamie Can wants to be you? my master now. Uh, just going to take a quick chat to him. Found you. Sup? That's a cool outfit. I want that jacket. I love looking out all over the city like this. Cause it makes me feel like I'm a king. Don't be stupid. You know what, Jamie? You are a king. You can't be a short king because you're taller than me, but this city is full of all kinds of people. Good people, bad people. The clever and the cruel, the strong and the weak. And then the kinds of people I want to set straight. Okay. That's why I'm up here. Watching. Oh. You came all the way out here for the same reason, right? Sure. To work under me, doing the same kind of thing? Yes, actually. Uh, please see from your ways. Okay, Be my cool. master. It's cool. You don't have to answer. If you don't feel that way now, you'll come around eventually. This way. This way. That was cool. Why are you so cool? Here. Congrats. From now Thank on, you. you can tell people you are a student of the great Jamie Show. Once you knock that back and make it official, anyway. He's gonna turn me into an alcoholic. Just relax. It's not booze. Trust me and take a swig. I think you're lying to me. It's a family-made herbal drink that really boosts your energy. Oh. You sound sincere. Let's do it. What did you just give me? <laughs> you like that? And it woke you the hell up. Um... <sighs> Why do I feel like he just gave me liquid wasabi? <laughs> just remember one thing. This literally is alcohol. We lay down the beats, not anyone else. Right. How am I just magically learning these dance steps? You became Jamie's student and I can use this fighting style. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, okay. I have to drink level two or higher, that's fine. Man, what in God's name is that? What in the actual... Mm. <laughs> I'm delusional. I thought that I was going to use Jamie as like my main fighting style. I couldn't even read that from where I'm sitting. I have no idea what that meant. There's no way I'm doing that. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do I have to lose? My dignity? <laughs> I lost that a long time ago. Can't trick me. Mm, I think I still want to use Ken's fighting style though, so I'm probably going to... You know, I'm gonna take out the Shoryuken though. And use the Bakai thing that Jamie gave me. Oh, I can't. Cool. Uh, I'll replace Hadouken then. Because it's the same. There we go. Perfect. 
Alright, I'm gonna use Jamie's spotting style for a while. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with following the main storyline. So, that means we're going to be going to our hangout, hideout, whatever it's called, taking a quick nappy nap, and waking up in the daytime with our lab coat on and the siren building in front of us. I know this is rather sudden, but I have a request. My agency is looking for a tall, beautiful young man with adorable eyes who are reminiscent of puppy dogs. Are we talking about Luke? and would love nothing more than to go to France and get hurled into the ground head first. Okay, uh, so we're going to Manon. That's fine. I don't suppose you've seen anyone matching that description around here, have you? No? Why would you have? Ugh, at this point you could stick a pig in a judo gi for all I care. What about you? Do you have a judo gi? Um, I, I think I do, actually. We'll talk. My goodness, that's a gi you're wearing. Yep, okay, that was the answer. Cool. Less than ideal, but I suppose it'll do if I just squint really hard. When you're ready to go, just give me the word. I am ready. Let's go. We're off to France. Ready to go? All set. We're starting. Ranger. Drone cam is rolling. In three, two. Uh, what? I wonder how many times they kicked each other in rehearsal. Oh, please don't put a spotlight on me. That's a cute outfit too. Okay, fashionista, Miss Fashion Model. Health in the. Now I've seen some quick changes in my life, but that's just ridiculous. See, everyone was prepared to be flung. Except me. I was not prepared. And now I'm hurt. Alright, where's Manon at? Manon. I've come to see you. No. Um. Hello. Is this your first time performing on camera? Your movings were appalling, dreadful. That said, you do seem to know your way around a fight. Through battle, we will become you. We, through battle, we will welcome you as a newcomer. On guard. Uh, that's what you say in fencing, but okay. So as you can see, I'm using Jamie's fighting style. I really enjoy fighting with Jamie, even though he is probably one of the most complicated characters to use. Uh, in terms of difficulty, he's probably like S tier. <laughs> probably the hardest one to use. I'm trying to think of anyone else who would be- uh, Chun-Li is also pretty hard to use. Rude. And um, who else is pretty difficult? I don't know, uh, maybe Dalsim? I think Dalsim's one of the harder ones as well. And... My brain keeps wanting to say Zangi, but he's like literally the easiest one. Piece of cake. Come on. 
can't take me down. You I'm the Dragonborn. As I thought, you're quite good at this. If you want to meet with Manon, you must first introduce yourself to Oscar. And whom's is Oscar? Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, you're one of the extras, are you not? Your hard work is graciously appreciated. The way you took all those throws was truly exquisite. What's that? You have business with Manon? Absolutely not. No autographs, no photos. Manon isn't some cheap tabloid pinup who jumps through tawdry hoops for money. If you think you'd be allowed to approach her after assisting me as an extra a single time, think again. Okay, I'll just fight you for it. Haven't you heard? I'm Sakamoto. being thrown around, that is to say. You must have enjoyed it. You came to be thrown again, yes? No. Am I mistaken? Yes. Could it be that you won't be satisfied until you do some throwing yourself too? Hmm. No need to be shy. What? You can try throwing me. Okay, let's do it. I. Sorry about that. Ow! I just can't resist such an opening. Throwing is all about look like I have a broken time. back. If you haven't got a feel for it yet, perhaps you and I should go another round. This game is actually teaching people how to fight, and that's crazy. Ouch. Ouch, bro. Oh, I don't stand a chance. She's only level 10. This is... This is disgusting. This is honestly disgusting. They don't want to see me win. They don't want to see me win. I'm sorry, what just happened to me? What are the Super Smash Brothers was that? Long toad ass. Oh, bro. Oh my god. What? bad not bad in the slightest I'll be shooting here for a while longer if you're ever in the mood to get thrown come for a visit of and you know not only would that be a big help for me but you might even learn something about throwing as well Ooh. and now I'm enrolled in the Moan's fighting school nice I stood the majority of my time trying to find Kimberly and or Cammy and I found neither of them. So I'm just gonna put on that stupid lab coat. And where is it? There is. And also put my pants back on. The ones that I actually like. And we're going. That'll do. Head down to Great Marina's dress just like that. Follow the instruction you receive after. Godspeed, researcher. 
Excuse me, Caitlin. Do you want to get punched? That's what I thought. Okay, now I have a new song stuck in my head. I don't know who the artist is, but it's called Take Me Out. It was on a Guitar Hero game. It's like, I say you don't know. Uh, something like that, I don't know. Take me out. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry, you guys didn't need to be subjected to that. Ooh, look at all the pretty balloons. Hello? Got that lab coat on? As of this moment, you're a researcher at Siren. Siren's cleaning bots are currently being tested on a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier, and today they're scheduled for maintenance. Figured it out yet? You're heading to that aircraft carrier, my friend. Word is there's a legendary fighter stationed there. I want you to find him for me. Okay. This has to be Guile. There's literally no one else. I've been wrong 90% of the time about who the fighters are going to be. This one is 1000% Guile. Hello. And you are? Are you the maintenance worker from Siren? I am. Name's Curtis. I'm an officer stationed on the aircraft carrier, Brian Byron Taylor. We've got maintenance scheduled today for the cleaning bots we're testing on the ship. All set and ready to go? Hello. I am. Alright then. Allow me to welcome you aboard. The aircraft carrier, Byron Taylor. If it's not Guile, then I'm just... I give up. Because... <laughs> There's no other U.S. character that is in the army other than Guile. This is literally Guile's uh, stage. So you might have heard we've been having some issues with maintenance. Reality is, the damn cleaning bots around here have become a science fiction nightmare. They're basically rampaging across the entire flight deck. I see. Think you might be able to put a stop to them and maybe even bring them in for a retrieval? Unfortunately. Oh my god. <sighs> Am I really just fighting Roombas? Why are these Roombas so strong? Why does the government need Roombas like this? Why do you need military grade? Destruction level of Roombas. What is this? Oh, okay. That was rude. Oh, wow. Where are you even carrying those missiles at? Like, how are you restocking? Are you pulling them out of thin air? There's no way you're storing those things that are that big in your little person. Person? Frame. In all honesty, who are you even fighting with these things? And why? Alright, last one. Please be a ringer. The ringer is still over here. I take that back. Mm, I take that back. I take that back. So keep kicking. The hitboxes are incredibly small and it's bothering me. Sellable item. Looks valuable. You could probably sell this for a lot of money. Sure. Why am I here? I look so professional right now. Kyle! Hello? No. Absolutely not possible. The butterfly cone! Let's go! This man's so stylish. What's going on with these bots, man? 
Per protocol, the deck must be spotless at all times. Plus, my men are due back any time. <laughs> I like this guy. Kyle, give me your fighting style. Kyle! Hi! Hey. I suppose this thing is your responsibility. I suppose. I see. A robot that's meant to clean the flight deck, huh? Doesn't seem to be much good at it. Well... Hey, no need to apologize to me. <laughs> I'm Guile, Air Force. I've been stationed here for a while as a training advisor. By the way... You know... I thought I recognized you from somewhere. You fought in Metro City's Novice League, if I'm not mistaken. <gasps> he saw me? Yay! Oh. That explains that. You're a fellow fighter. In that case, the next time we talk, it may be with our fists. Oh, please do. Successfully established contact. Let's see a photo. Looking sharp. Looking sharp, Kurt. Looking sharp, Colonel Guile. Proud of the USAF right there. Guess that would mean he's stationed aboard the aircraft carrier Byron Taylor. Okay then, that's another valuable piece of intel, pile. I'll message you with any new info I find on Bosch as soon as I lock it down. I told you he's from Nashal, right? I've got a travel route to Nashal locked in, so for now, how about paying a visit in person and seeing the place for yourself? Sure. Clear. Sounds good to me, but before, talk to me. We've got some serious fighting spirit. Looking for a sparring partner? Uh, I'd actually like to become your student, sir. I see. Interested in some martial arts training? Then let's have a look at your fundamentals. I can give you some pointers afterwards. Please knock me into next week. He's not even budging. Oh, that was pretty good. Open it? Nope. Oh! I'm sorry. This man tried to kill me. Never take your eyes off the enemy. They can attack at any second. That's when you need to keep your cool. Uh, makes sense to me. Not bad, but your form is all over the place. You need to study up. Let me teach you how professional soldier fights. Thank you. Some assault kick. Nice. Alright. Let's move on. Shall we? Oh wait, I need to talk to Curtis. Sup? Well. Maintenance all done? Ready to head back to Metro City? I am. Uh -huh. Copy that. Good day, it is I. Oh, sorry. I'm sending this from Lee Fen's device. This is Lao Tong. Chun Li's student. There is something I would like to discuss. Can you come to Chinatown? I hope Lee Fen's okay. If she can't text me herself, but like there's an emergency in Chinatown? What's up? My apology. Goodness, thank you for coming. What, I don't, what did I want to discuss? Well, uh, as it turns out, Lee Fen's gone missing. Oh, it's nothing to get worked into a tizzy over. She's always doing this sort of thing. Just up and runs off somewhere. The odd thing is, she didn't take any of her portable gizmos this time. 
you wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? Would you be willing to look for her as a fellow suit of Chen Li's? Yes, absolutely. She's supposed to be helping me with something anyways. Um, let's take a look. Hey, uh, have you seen Li Fen? What? You're wondering where Li Fen might have run off to? So she's usually fiddling with her computer around here or grabbing dim sum. Most recently, she's been ordering Shibang nonstop from that Bao Bao Bro guy. Yeah, I remember that. Um, okay, let's go talk to Bao Bao Bro. I love how we've just become detectives. Like, hello! What's up? Li Fen? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen her in the shop at all. We're still getting her orders, though. Xiaobing, extra meat. The only one who'd order that is Li Fen. Bao Bao Bro handles the deliveries. Maybe you could try napping him and asking him yourself. Okay. Where is Bao Bao Bro? What is it? Long. Where does Bao Bao Bro usually make deliveries, you ask? Late night demand over the Eastern Business District has been booming lately. You're bound to bump into each other around that area at night. Oh my gosh, all this night and daytime traveling. I spend more time in bed than I do in the real world. Close your eyes, shut your mouth, dream and dream and get us out. Dream, 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 dream. Hit the hay, fast asleep, dream a dream, a little bleep. Dream, dream, dream. Here's some more info on Bosch. Here's some more info on Bosch. After stealing the cash from Mad Gear, he flew to England. Knew that. He was planning to meet up with Nayshaw resistance members, but an assassin found him first. An assassin by the name of Jury. She's a veteran who takes jobs all over the world. Okay, yeah, we were there. We saw that. What else you got? That's when Bosch boshed it and fell into their clutches. Wait, you already knew that? You were there? Well, way to steal my thunder. But you don't know what happened to him after that, though. Neither do I, but hell or high water, I'm gonna find out. I'll message you later. Thanks for wasting my time. Hey, wait! Bye bye, bro, wait! Come back! Wait, talk to me. Hi, wait, no! Okay, fine. I can't believe we have to go through this again. This time I also can fight like Jamie. And I will not let you defeat me. I didn't want to have to do this to you, my boy. Why are you so much stronger than me? Oh my gosh. Please don't do this to me again. Please, please don't do this to me again. I don't... I don't have the mental capacity to keep going through this with you. Oh my god. Baba bro, why are we doing this again? Like, don't we have better things to do? I might be here a while, you guys. Uh oh, I use whatever cheap tricks I have. Literally, why am I like not not doing any sort of damage to him, like whatsoever? ridiculous and I don't want to talk about how long it took me to actually beat this fucker. Anyways, Xiaobing, extra meat. 
Oh yeah, this one girl orders this stuff around the clock. I delivered an order like that just recently, come to think of it. And came in at night. As far as location goes, it was at the office for the scrapyard on the west side of town, by the ocean. Uh, you want this costume so you can infiltrate their office? It's soaked in sweat, but hey, if you're cool with the salty sauna, it'll knock yourself out. Thanks. I hate you. Okay, let's go find Lee Fen, shall we? Hey. Whoa, it's Bow Bow Bro. Another day, another delivery, eh? Far be it for me to stop you from doing your job. That was almost too easy. Alright. Lee Fen, what are you doing in here? What is it? Bow Bow Bro. Huh, I don't remember making an order. No way. Wait! <laughs> wow, you really came to my rescue, didn't you? Listen, just getting this out of the way up front, but I'm totally fine, really. Uh some mad gear goons brought me here and get this apparently they wanted to know what was on that data card too they have a zero chance of cracking the encryption on that thing without me so plus you know I'm already sort of used to being kidnapped what anyway let's blow this joint First, I was all pumped, like, ooh, surprise, Sur shopping, whatever. But honestly, knowing it was you made me even more pumped. I've uh, actually been kidnapped before, believe it or not. I believe you. The first time I met JJ was when she came to my rescue. Alright, let's get out of here, I guess. How many people do I have to fight? Them? Stop right there, be brave. No, oh, you again. What the hell? Eh, whatever, I guess. So, you're here to play hero and save the girl. Don't you worry, my friend. Hospitality is our specialty. <laughs> Gotta have an appetizer before the main entree, yeah! Leafa can absolutely take you on by herself, but I'm helping her out just in case, you know? Her voice is so cute, oh my gosh. I look how Jamie immediately turned me into an alcohol. And I actually really like this fighting style of like two people fighting together. Two different fighting styles. Taking on the world, you know? Not the drop, kid. Good job, Lee Fan. Not bad, yo. But I got a trump car. I'm sure you do. What? Why is this even a thing? Mm. 
probably still better than the refrigerators. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, God. I hate it here already. Oh, my God. Uh, Absolutely no way in hell anyone should have that many health bars. Like, why? Oh, like, literally leave me alone. Maybe I do prefer the refrigerators. <laughs> 